for the team that they owe me. Give me that. I need a ring and a trophy. Uh -huh. I say I'm the best because I am. It's no didn't keeping it low key. Uh -huh. I can call for the D like a turkey. Uh -huh. I run straight through the D like a train. Uh -huh. This year we ain't taking no losses. Uh -huh. It's all about making the game. Uh -huh. I hear a lot of trash talk. Uh -huh. He call us up making a name. Uh -huh. I put on a jet to coast regret even letting them stay in the game. Uh -huh. See my route took a tumble. tumble. Next time be humble. be humble. I'm the lion in the jungle. Uh -huh. You just try not to fumble. Rumble, young man, rumble. rumble. Never slip nor stumble. I take off poo, magic. magic. Now watch me juke through the traffic. Footwork fantastic. Dominating every facet. Treat the pocket like plastic. Pick on the blitz, pass it. Got it on smash. Put on the gas. I will not crash. Honey, y'all dash. 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 It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. This was the scene a moment ago as the Bears emerged from their tunnel. Ready for football are they, and ready for football are we as the Bears get set to match up with the Baltimore Ravens. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And the former Heisman winner, this is Mark Ingram. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Jackson. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Akeem Hicks at 6'5", 332, finds his way home for the sack. Two plays so far, a run and a pass attempt, and both have gone backwards. Probably not how they drew that up. Not at all. <laughs> Looking for a better play coming up on third. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. There's Jackson on third and long. Steps away to his left. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. And partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. 
Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Bears take over. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Trying to get it to Tariq Cohen out of the backfield. And it's second down. I think we'll see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Now Trubisky to throw. Hits his target. It's Taylor Gabriel. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 23 yards the pick up there. First down. First and 10 at the 40 yard line. Watch the car. Watch the car. Hey. Now Trubisky on first down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That's sacked by Khalil Mack. And here the pressure from the outside linebacking spot. And normally when that happens and they're able to get home, that means the other guys on his team helped him out a lot. That They occupied people to allow it to be no less than a one-on-one -on -one situation allows him to get home. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. On third down, Jackson escaping the pressure right. And the pressure gets to him again. Akeem Hicks able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you, a huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points. You start off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves and maybe reward their defense a little bit by putting some points on the board on this one. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. They will run for the first time with David Montgomery. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a third and three. But when you go from second and four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Now Trubisky. Finding Gabriel complete. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for Chicago. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yep. thought he was trying to get deep. Yeah, that wasn't the first option. No, now he came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. Watch the screen, watch the screen, watch the screen. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. 
Marlon Humphrey with the tackle defensively. Marlon Humphrey on the tackle. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the Ravens' 39-yard line. We're scoreless after one. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession as they are looking at a second and five situation. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. It's our time. It's our time. Here's Trubisky to throw. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. Brings up third and five. Come on, baby, come on, let's go. Here's Trubisky. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Yeah, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Now well, let's see how yeah, the offense still out there. They elect to go on fourth and 11. They'll try and throw for it with Trubisky. Gonna let one fly for Robinson. That's gonna be knocked away and incomplete. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And the Ravens are gonna get the football back. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. From the gun, Jackson being chased out left. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Marquise Brown was the intended target, and it'll bring up third down. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases. Have... And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Eddie Goldman with a sack. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Now this is fielded in the end zone. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bears will take over at their own 20. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it. Not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold up. But he up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much. And I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Now we'll see what his offense can do. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. 
First and 10 at the 35 yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Quick pass out to Miller. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. No gain there on the completion. Second and 10. Throwing on second down. Trubisky, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jihad Ward. He's the culprit dropping him for a two-yard loss. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. We need, need to get the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. O'Donnell, he's on to punt as he gets this one away. Returnable for Thomas. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. The results for them so far, not that great. Well... Not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet. You're trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Blowing that play up for Oquan Smith as he gets the sack. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage. Not a great start. Forced out to his left. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Jackson now to throw on third down. Open man is the tight end, Nick Boyle. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. It's brought in here by Willie Sneed. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. From the gun, it's Jackson. They'll roll him out right. He'll run it. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Jackson from the shotgun. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Bilal Nichols in there to record another sack. And that is now six on the afternoon for this defensive unit. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. 
Jackson operating from the gun. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And the Ravens strike first at three zip. Now the drive ends in just three, but they'll take it. Looks like they'll head to the locker room, barring something unfortunate in front on the scoreboard. Yeah, they may not be jumping up and down and celebrating because they have the lead, but still, any little momentum in a game like this is important to a team, and they'll feel real good about going in and regrouping, knowing that they are out in front. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears' offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Second and six, just inside the 30. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. So after the penalty, now they need just a yard on second down. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Final play of the half. It's Trubisky flushed out right. And that is incomplete. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. The Ravens ready to receive it. And they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game. Yet, they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. Well, they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. A game there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. They go play action here on first down. Open man, Taylor Gabriel. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Now it's Trubisky stepping up. He's going to keep it. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Hey, Delta! Throwing again on second down. Trubisky. Robinson's got it. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. 
I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. They have a first and 10 at the 18. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Earl Thomas in on the stop. Second and five now. Trubisky looking in zone, but it's incomplete. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. Trubisky will throw. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag is down. This could possibly be a push-off. Looked like some hands both ways. They got it on the offense. And sometimes there's a fine line between being the receiver and the DB, and he knocked that one away. Might have caused an incompletion that could have been an interception. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Out of the gun, Trubisky. That's complete to Robinson. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. They'll run for it with Tariq Cohen. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. Second and goal from the one. They try again with Cohen. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Bears have taken the lead. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second? Most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. Come on. From the 29, Jackson buying time to his left. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Jackson from the gun, he'll throw. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And brought down across the 50 to the 49-yard line. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Operating for the gun. Jackson. That's into the hands of the tight end, Boyle. The completion good for three, and it's second down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Switch! Switch! 
And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Seth Roberts. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 21. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Here's Jackson. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Late game, that hurts. Take the touchdown off the board. No doubt about it. And this is where you make a great movie scene, right? Go in, rally the team. Okay, we lost points there. Let's get it back and go out and score again. Can he get it done? So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. I guess the good news as they start this drive is that they, they still do have the lead, Charles, if their defense hadn't been able to hold them to it. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They run, it's Mark Ingram. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Ingram again. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. From the gun, Jackson steps away to his left. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Kyle Fuller. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. 
I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit, and receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there was a guy lurking, took the ball from yeah, him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open? Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. 50. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Now listen, it's a team game. We know that. But where would these guys be right now, Charles, without their defense? So they take over here following the turnover. Defense did it again. But the offense, they have to feel like, hey, we need to do something. You're exactly right. And you just mentioned it. The defense did it again. They've bailed them out on a number of occasions in this contest. It's time for them to repay the defense at the least. Keep the ball for a while. Give those guys a break so they can catch their breath. After the incompletion, here's Second and 10 from the 20. Now Trubisky to throw. Flush to his right. He's going to take off with it. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. I'm coming, I'm coming. Check, cross, cross. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. He'll have a first down past the 40. A big seam, and he might go all the way. And he's got it all the way down to the 12-yard line. A huge play there for Chicago. And even 60 yards for him on the ground. First and 10 at the 12-yard line. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. First down, a run with Cohen. And strong running there as he's inside the ten and down to the eight-yard line. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Again, it's Cohen. And this carry not as productive. He's swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. On third down, a run with Cohen. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And they bump the lead up to four now at 10 6. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Khalil Mack in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Back-to-back, -back, big plays defensively. First the sack. Now they force the incompletion on third and long. Things looking pretty good for them. And this is where they have to be careful because they've got the momentum going their way. They will be really amped up to get to the quarterback. Look out. Draw, screen, something that can be used against them. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 33. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill, trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to come up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. Yeah. 
So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. I'm going to run you over. After the interception, here's Trubisky. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Defensively, that's Earl Thomas, the all-pro safety, knocking it free. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball. And we see yet another errant throw as a result. Looky here, Trubisky wants to throw it. And he finds Montgomery complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for Chicago. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football. Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock. And this is second and less than a yard. They'll run on second down with Cohen. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Here's Trubisky. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium. That certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football, low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved did. the defenses. I certainly did. Brought back the images of the game of old.